please welcome Guto Innocent. I think I'm gonna knock him out in the second round. Yeah. But Hari or anyone, you know, anyone then got to wanna put again. We zijn hier bij Johan Cruijff Arena in Amsterdam. 29 september gaat het allemaal gebeuren. Ik sta hier met Guto, de tegenstander van Rico. En wij gaan kijken wat hij ervan vindt, hoe hij het beleeft en wat zijn verwachtingen zijn de 29 van september. Dit wil je niet missen. We are here at the arena where it's all going to happen, the 29th of September against Rico. What's your feeling? Like you are here, you're seeing all of this. Yeah, it's a big arena, beautiful, beautiful place and I can't wait to be inside there. Rico is called the Undisputed. How do you feel about that one? I don't care about it anymore, you know. After they booked this fight, in my mind his time is done and I came here to beat him. Uh, you already fought for a lot of big crowd, crowd uh, but now it's for the world title. Is it no, no, it's, the, it's, it's very different. You know, it's the first time I'm going to fight in a big arena like this and for the world title. So I'm very excited. Yeah. I can't wait. I like new experiences like this. So you're really excited about it? Yeah, very. What is going to happen in the fight? What do you think will take us with you? Yeah, I came here to be here, you know, I'm ready for five rounds, I am ready to looking for the knockout, all the five rounds. So I go there to use everything that I have. So is there going to be a knockout? Yeah. In I, which I, round? I, we need to uh, watch. Which round you did, like, pay attention? Hey, I think I'm going to knock him out in the second round, yeah. But otherwise, every other round? Yeah, I will try it in the, all the five rounds, as I, as I said. As a, yeah, exactly. Uh, take us back. You are uh, in the uh, dressing room waiting. Do you do something special to get calm, or do you have a, a little thing that you do before each game? Or? No, I am calmer already. You know, I don't need to get calm. So I go there and do everything that I have to do. What goes get on in ready. your head? Nothing. My, my, the only fight. Yeah, only win. I have only the victory in my mind. Yeah. And uh, when you uh, are here, over here, do you get a little bit nervous or do you get a bit, little bit of feeling of already like, okay, now it's going to happen? No, we have a long time to the fight until, you know, I can't wait to be there. Maybe it's, if it's tomorrow, I'm ready already. So, if they call matter. you tonight, you need to yeah, fight. Yeah, you're okay. going to fight now. Come here, yeah, right no now. No problem. No problem. And then the next, we will have, hopefully, brother. Yeah, sure, sure. I want to get him, get the belt for me, and I will call for Badahari or anyone, you know, anyone that God want to put again against me, anyone. Yeah. What is your, uh, do you have a message for Rico? Hey Rico, let's go, let's do a big show. And I'm sorry, man, your time is done. Your time is over and now it's time for a new champion. The new champion just arrived here. I will get the, this belt and get it for, for Brazilian people. Be there, 29th of September, it's going to be a fight of your life. I'm here with the father and coach of Guto. How does it feel as father and as coach to be there in the arena? Biggest crowd ever. Oh, I'm very excited and uh, I'm preparing the big fight. Why do you, how do you think uh, Guto the difference for Rico? I, uh, my, for my vision, go to have a tank kickboxing. It's a Brazilian, like a capoeira, it's mixed with kickboxing. 29 September and the new champion. How did it all start for you? You were a kid, four year old? Yeah, like my father is my coach, so when I born, he was fighting and I start to follow him, you know, and saw everything he was doing and I think it, it is in my blood. It is. 
And you started with boxing and kickboxing or with the Jiu Jitsu? I started with kickboxing. With kickboxing. Yeah. And you fell in love with the sport? Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love the stand up game. You know, I like uh, our action fights. I, I love, like Jiu Jitsu too, but I prefer kickboxing. Kickboxing. Sure. Yeah. And um, why do you prefer kickboxing? Why you fell in love with the sport? It's because it's an action sport. Uh, you know, it's, I think it's the best sport on, in the, for mm -hmm. the fight. Yeah. Uh, how do you uh, describe your specialty in kickboxing? Like, why you're different than everybody else? Yeah, I call my style like a thug kickboxing. And I think my style is different than almost everybody. Uh, because I, I, I do a different stuff for any kind of game that I, I'm gonna fight. So if I'm gonna fight a, with a dirt style, I use a, a different game. And this is the kickboxing, is a kickboxing for your life. You can fight against any, any style and yeah. any kind of art mar uh, martial arts. Yeah, but like it's tough kickboxing, but it's, uh, you call it like that because in, you have the different styles you can yeah. fight too. But is there something more behind it? Why you call it tough kickboxing? Um, maybe because uh, our gym uh, was born uh, from one, one gang in Brazil, you know? Yeah. Everybody was like a gang members and my father take off everybody from the streets and start to train us and put us to fight, you know? That's why we started and came this name like Thug Kickboxing. We, call, we get our start like from Capoeira because it's a street, a street thing, you know, Capoeira and a lot of martial arts. Yeah. So it was a little escape from your father, so he wanted to hide you from the gangs. Yeah, yeah, it was like when I was 17, I got a shoot in my chest. Uh, I got a shoot in my chest and uh, uh -huh. I was in the jail. It was a lot of bad stuff. And he said, man, if you want to fight, if you like to fight, let's fight with, with who knows. You know, you, you are fighting the streets and you got to shoot. Some, sometimes you're going to get killed. Yeah. And then we start to train and I was getting off the street. So it was your escape to a better life? Yeah, sure, it was, was yeah. the best thing in my life. The best thing in your life, yeah. yeah. And then uh, you, how you got in touch with UFC, with MMA? Yeah, so uh, I, I started the Jiu-Jitsu when I was eight years old. Yeah. So I was always being a complete fighter. And we call our style third kickboxing because we can fight against any style. So. I want to prove my kickboxing is better than a wrestler, than a jiu-jitsu. So then we started fighting MMA too. Then I was in the UFC, I was in the strike force. Yeah. I was in the big shows in, in so the So you world. want to, you do want to do everything. Yeah, sure. You sure. can do everything yeah, because you everything. proved it. Yeah. And um, who was your toughest opponent till now? Mm, I think I have a lot of tough, tough opponents, tough fights, but I think has Gerges was a big, bigger name than I have fought and I won. And you won it, yeah? Yeah. Can you uh, take us back to that fight? What was your feeling when you had that fight against Hesdi? No, it was like a, a, a big fight for me, you know, and a big pleasure to fight against a, a guy that I was fight. I, I saw him fight against everybody and he was a big name for me. It was good. It was good, yeah. What is the kind of feeling you have when you have like, you have the arena, uh, the ring, you come up, they pronounce your name, like that's gonna happen. It's no way back. What's no, your feeling? I am, I am very calm, you know, I don't care about depression. I just go, go there to fight and focus on what I have to do. Do you feel any kind of pressure? No, I think depression is on, on Rico, not on me, yeah. yeah. And over the media and everything, you don't feel any kind of pressure? It's like you have... No, no. It's just a real. fight for you, like you fight anybody else, it's just a fight. No, it's a special fight, you know, it's a special fight because I will fight for the world title. So I did a very great camp, I trained so hard and this is special for me, but I'm very confident. I did good, a good camp, you know, I'm confident mm -hmm. on it. What's the difference you did then uh, in your other fights? Like because it's the world title, is there a little bit other also in your head, in the feeling you have going through it? I think. We did the same work, but I, I took this camp serious. I think I think it was the first will be my first fight in the glory, and I took my my training camp so serious. Can you explain it? Like the other fights, you were a little bit. Yeah, no, the other fight. I think I, I did a great camp too, but I was a little bit relaxed, you know, and very confident too. 
but now I took it serious because I want to be the champion, you know. I was calling to fight Rico since my first fight in the glory and yes. now my, my time arrives. Yeah. So they I'm very happy. They asked it for a long time now. Uh, they didn't give you till now. Like, what was, take us back to the moment you heard like, okay, now it's gonna happen. You are going to fight against Rico for the world title. Yeah, I was calling, I was waiting, I, you know, I, I, ha I think I have a belt magnet inside me, yeah. you know, and I, I always knew, was know that my time was supposed to come, and when, when it's you heard arrived, it, where did you was at the moment? Or were you at home or at the gym? Or? No, I was at home, <laughs> and they come me, oh, it's supposed to close, let's put some fire on it, and I start to do some stuff on Instagram and put some fire and you know, call Hiko to fight, and then it they happens. make it happen. They yeah. make it happen, yeah. yeah. So the world title. Yeah, yeah. What's your feeling about it when you think about the world title? Yeah, I, I think I was born for this time, you know. I, I, it's like a dream for me. I have born for it, and I will be the world champion. Does the, the time in the UFC, do you think that it uh, helped you with all the crowd? Because you are used to a big crowd, so it's nothing new for you. Sure, sure, it, it happens, happens a lot. I think my car uh, has two times, before UFC and after UFC. And I was there in UFC and I didn't have show with nothing. <laughs> and then after that, I, I got like a crazy and I start, I, since there, I just have lost one fight. Just one fight. Yeah. You also trained uh, in Miami? Yeah, I was, I was there in Florida. In Florida? In Boca Raton, yeah. Boca Raton, with the Black Zillions? Yes. What is uh, the most uh, you learned from there, you think? Ah, I have learned a lot there. I was, uh, I was there, I have trained with uh, Henry Hooft, you know, he was a great coach for me too. Yeah. And a lot of, with a lot of big names. And I have learned a lot there. A lot, a lot. And I, when I was in the UFC, I was training there. I was training there, yeah. yeah. Um, and MMA, kickboxing is a whole different game? Very different, yeah, sure. We, you can't train for both together, I think. It's a very different training. Yes, yeah. What's the most different, uh, you think, from... What's the most difference between the, those two? Ah, I think it's the, the grappling game, you know. For MMA, it's, a, it's more a grappling fight. So you have to focus much more in wrestling. I think wrestling is the, 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 the best thing. Yeah. And for a stand-up game, it's a different game. It's just kickboxing. I think it's easier. Which one you prefer? I prefer kickboxing. Kickboxing, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Who is on your list? Who's no, next? I don't have a list. I, I think I want to fight against Ben, uh, against, uh, ben Sadiq, you know, that's because I have lost for him in the glory. Then, but that fight that was like a last call for me, and I wasn't ready. But I think if I, I fight with him again, I can beat him. You can beat him, yeah. You, so do you want a rematch from Jamal Bensidi? And then you want to go yeah, after I, I don't want it. I don't want it. I want to fight Rico, then get Bada Hari, and who is the next? I don't who's care. Who is the next? I don't care. care. Yeah. yeah. You just want to prove, like, yeah, yeah. I'm ready, I'm here. I want to prove I'm the best. That you are the best, yes. Great. And um, how is your family about it? Like, do they, yeah, they support you, of course. How, how, what does it mean for you? Because you, you are almost becoming a new father. Yeah. It's your I, first I, child. Yeah, I am the first one for them. And I have all the support from my, from my, my family. My mom supports me a lot, my wife too. And my father is my coach, you know, he's always on my side. And yeah, I have, my family is everything for me. I fight for them. You fight for them, yeah. Yes. Because you becoming a father almost. Yeah, is that yeah. something that's in your mind, in your head? Like, okay, I'm gonna be the world champion father. No, I have, I have promised for my son, I will bring him, the, bring the belt, I and the, the belt. If hers, he first photo shoot will be with the glory belt. With the belt, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. And your father is your trainer. Is that a sometimes, is it difficult sometimes? Because, yeah, you have the gym, then you have at home. It's, is it always, can you like let it loose? Like, at home is at home, the gym is the gym, or? No, yeah, we know we know how to separate it, but it's, it's good, you know, because it is controlling me all the time, you know, and I train 24 hours. 
24-7. <laughs> so yeah, you always like mindset yeah, focusing. Yeah. So it was never hard for you, maybe when you was little, like your father was your trainer? No, it was never hard, it was never hard, it was, it was very good. But you know, I was, when I was a kid, I started to train with him, but when I, I was in my, between 13 to 17, I was like out of the train. I was more in the streets and more doing a couple of bad things. And then after that, we, we get close again and we start to train and focus on, on fights. What did you learn on the streets? Like, what is there some, was there something you can, you took with you in the gym? Like, okay, that's something I... Ah, I learned to fight. <laughs> it I was learned like to fight. I learned fight. It, it is in my blood. I learned I like it a lot. I learned I love it. You love to fight. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, great. What are you going to do different now against Rico? Like what others couldn't do, what are, what are you going to do? Yeah, I think my style is different than almost all the heavyweights in the division, you know. And I go there, I think I have too many weapons for Rico and I will throw everything against him. Yeah, I will show it there. Who's your hero? Who do you look up to? My hero is my father. Your yeah. father. You know, he has like made me to fight and I, I, I was always looking for him as a good man and as a, a family guy, you know, a, a warrior. That's what and you want to be? Yeah, yeah. Great, yeah. I want to be a good father for my, for my son as he was for me. Great, that's good, yeah. You seem like you are very calm. You are a calm person. In the ring it's going to be different, of course. But do you get like a little bit pressure, a little bit nervous before a fight? Or no, I, I think I am a calm fighter, but yeah, we get we get a little bit when I, I was think about the fight, you know, I get like oh I'm gonna be him. I was a little bit nervous, but I can't relax my mind, you know, I have a good mindset. Mm -hmm. And we are now a week before the fight. Do you think about it more? Like how do you prepare yourself to the fight? Because it's fight week. What you do? No, I think a lot, now I, I am think a little bit more because I am here in Amsterdam a couple of times before, you know. But I, I am ready. I was I was ready a couple of times a couple of weeks ago, and mm. nothing changed. Nothing changed. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have like now you have a different uh, weight class. You have also fought a little lower. What's the difference you think between the what you yeah the the heavyweights? Another. Fighting the heavyweight division is like a happy life. You can eat everything, <laughs> you know, you don't need to care about weight. When I was fighting at uh, two, uh, 93 kilos, uh, well, it's hard because you need to fight against the weight too. But now I need just to you can only focus relax on the and focus on the fight. Yeah. yeah. So you are a happy fighter right now? Yeah, very happy, very happy. <laughs> now it's just having fun, you know. There I, I was always talking, ah. After you make the weight, you're just gonna have fun. Now you're just having fun all the time. Yeah, now you're just this all, yeah, all, all fun. Yeah, 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 all fun. What like, uh, do you look up to the most? Like, how you stay motivated? I, I, the, my motivation is to prove I am the best. You know, I wanna show the world I am the best. I, mean, I can be the world champion okay. and I will prove it. Okay, September 29th. September 29th, <laughs> we're going. Let's see, like, it's September 29th. Your hands are up high, yeah. you won the belt, what you gonna do? No, you are having fun with my friends. And, uh, uh, after the fight, right after, I will call to fight against uh, Badahari or Rico again, if they wanna rematch, you know, I don't yeah. know, anyone. Anyone, so just... I will call for the next in the, the line, next in the line, I wanna fight, I wanna keep fighting. Yeah. I, I was, I, ju I just fought uh, in January this year. And now I'm gonna fight in uh, September, so it's a long time. I don't like it. Yeah. You know, last year I did six fights, so it was much better. You had a little injury a long time ago with the UFC. Yeah, yeah. Is there also um, is that also like why you do kickboxing right now, or? No, no. That uh, it wasn't the key. I was. I got hurt, and I after I got in UFC, they they took me, they cut me off. Then I did the one MMA fight and I knocked the guy out. Then was 
uh, I, I was happy, you know, a couple of kickboxing fights yeah. and I got the glory, then it was what happened for me. What, do, uh, what does glory mean for you? I mean the best kickboxing show in the world. What was the feeling when you gave that spinning hook kick or when you knocked somebody out? Yeah, it was great, you know, but I have done it a couple of times before in the gym. And yeah. I, when I saw that kick getting the guy, I say, oh, the fight's done. And the, the, the referee keep counting for yeah. him. And I say, well, he, you, you he's don't crazy, go up. he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get up. Yeah. And uh, like you say, I trained it. Like, how is your sparring going? Like, do you knock somebody out in sparring as well? Or? Yeah, sometimes happen, but you know, in the sparrings, I I don't use a lot of spinning movements because when you throw some spinning movements, oh, you you go hard and you hurt your your partner, or you go slow and it don't get and it didn't work. So in the sparring, I fight more in a traditional style, and sometimes you knock the guy out, but. How does your camp look? Like you are going, uh, you did a lot of cardio this time. A little bit different. Like, how does how do you train in Brazil? Like, take us with your camp. Yeah, this time I I have focused a lot on my cardio. I know I was running a lot. I was doing some uh, uphills a lot. And yeah, I did just a little bit more. That's why it was better. Because we'll title five rounds. Yeah, yeah. Because five rounds and Rico is a a guy who has a good cardio, and we we know it. So you focus on cardio and a little bit technique? No, a lot of my technique. A lot of technique yeah. as well, yeah. 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 Take us to a, the moment, like, okay, uh, the fight you were going up, it's going to happen. What starts in the ring? Let's... Uh, I think, I don't know, you know, my style is like that. I go there and react for what's going to happen. You know, Do you... I don't like to, to plan it because when you plan it, something can come wrong. But when you go there, prepare for reaction for everything, then you are ready. You are ready for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he ever fought someone like you? I think no. I think it's the first time that he's gonna get a fight with a style like mine. He never did that. I think. Yeah. And um, you fought a lot of big names, of course. Hesdi was your biggest name yet. Do you see Rico as your, like, your big shot or your big? Like the toughest fight ever in your whole yeah, career. Yeah, sure it is. For sure it is. Uh, he he's being so dominant in the the division, and he's a big name now in the world. You know, everybody knows him, so it means a lot for me. Yeah. It's a big fight. Yeah. They call him the king. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't know how other guy can call somebody like this, like the king. You know, this is too much for me. Oh, you don't yeah, see I don't him like, like that. it. I don't like it. You don't like it, no. no. Hey, my name is uh, Bert Cops from the famous Cops gym in Amsterdam, and uh, I'm very pleased and happy that Guto Innocent is coming this week to prepare a little bit for his fight against Rico Vruver. Rico Vruver, he's a friend of me, but uh, Guto is also a friend of me, and I say it's going to be a hell of a fight. Hey guys, let's go. September 29 is our time and thank you for all the support you guys are helping me a lot and i promise you guys i will do my best and you get this belt for me for us <laughs>